Hi, today I have prepared two multiply choice questions for you. And as usual, I recommend you to stop video here, read the questions, answers, choose your correct answer. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first question. How many possible codons exist in the genetic code? And the correct answer would be 64. So answer D. And here is a theory. Imagine that this is message RNA, and here would be nucleotides, and we have uh, four types of nucleotides uh, for the message RNA. Uh, this is going to be uh, cytosine, guanine, and um, adenine, and uracil. Of course, uh, per each cell we would have uh, millions of copies of each nucleotide, so reading frame would be three nucleotides per codon. So this is going to be something like this. And uh, here, as you see, we have uh, position number one, position number two, and position number three within one codon. And we have, uh, as you see, four nu nucleotides to choose from. So um, how many nucleotides we can put for the f position uh, one or fill in this uh, position? This can be uh, cytosine, guanine, adenine, and uracil. And the same is true for the second position. So cytosine, guanine, adenine, and uracil. And the same also true for the uh, last position, so cytosine, guanine, adenine, and uracil. So, four variants for the first position, four variants for the second position, and uh, four variants for the third position. So, the total number would be four multiplied by four and multiplied by four. So, total number would, would be 64 different variants of the codons. And this is answer D. Uh, so, uh, second question. The two processes of protein synthesis are answer A, gene expression and protein expression. Answer B, transcription and translation. Answer C, uh, uh, replication and translation. And answer D, transcription and the genetic code. And the correct answer would be uh, B, transcription and translation. So imagine that this is double-stranded DNA, so DNA, and DNA would be t transcribed into the uh, message RNA, and message RNA would be translated into the uh, protein chain. And this process of uh, information flow uh, about 60 years ago was discovered and um, were called the central dogma of the molecular biology. That flow goes from the information flow goes from the DNA to message RNA and uh, later would be translated in, into the protein. But later uh, this uh, central dogma turned out to be not um, the correct one because there are some uh, viruses exist that infect uh, the cell and this viruses is uh, RNA viruses and using reverse transcriptase uh, the information uh, can go from the um, RNA to DNA. So uh, it's just um, good to know that uh, this central dogma uh, is turned out to be not uh, the correct and um, this picture would be more correct. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any and see you in the next video. Goodbye.